historically black colleges and universities minority institutions, HBCUMI program is a department of the Navy initiative designed to increase student and faculty participation in the Navy and Marine Corps research, development, test and evaluation programs. Charting the course, a pathway to opportunity. So HBCU uh, faculty and students are a national asset to us. We're looking for them to continue to engage in doing scientific research. We want the fresh minds and the thoughts that they bring to the program. We're looking for them to ensure that we are continually have the advantage of our adversaries. There's this whole world of innovation and different perspectives that are out there just waiting to be tapped into. And these fresh minds bring new insights into these innovations. There are over 100 HBCUMIs across the country. And while some have benefited from working with the Navy, either through research dollars or internships, many are not aware of how to take advantage of the Navy's HBCUMI program. The program overall creates opportunity from HBCU perspective, Hispanic servicing institution perspective, tribal colleges perspective, and so many other perspectives. The opportunities that traditional universities have oftentimes get overlooked at HBCUs and some of your minority servicing institutions. In addition to creating those opportunities, it also creates opportunities for the Department of the Navy. The idea here is that the, the science that we do not only here but across the country has really pushed this country forward. The HBCUMI program includes various opportunities for faculty to work collaboratively with scientists and engineers at Naval Labs on projects of mutual interest. I believe the benefit that the Navy gets from a visiting researcher, a visiting faculty member, is a different way and a different approach to a problem. It might need a pair of fresh eyes, and that's what the, the Department of Navy uh, summer faculty research program allows the Navy to get back. The Office of Naval Research, ONR, offers grants to support research of mutual interest to promising young faculty members. A young investigator program is designed to find young faculty members who have just started out in their um, faculty position. The value of the young investigator program um, to ONR is that we are not only enhancing our research portfolio by bringing the young investigators into ONR, but these are individuals who will hopefully have long-term um, relationships with ONR program officers and doing valuable research for the Navy. Opportunities for faculty and students exist at all Naval laboratories. We have been successful at Tennessee State University, the College of Engineering, of collaborating with at least three warfare centers. And those warfare centers have been strong advocates of our College of Engineering and the students. So we can work with the professors, they can come here and work on our technology, and we can bring some of the students in as well to experience a workplace environment, a real world environment for what they learn in the classroom. The Department of the Navy wants to encourage HBCUMI students to consider career options at Naval laboratories and scientific offices by giving them exposure to the opportunities that are out there. Exposure to this type of work can completely change a student's career direction. So when I went to college, I, I never thought I would be a physicist. Actually, I never thought about becoming one until, like I said, a professor exposed me to lasers, which was an internship program. It is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to come and work at a naval lab and or warfare center and learn about the science that is important to the Navy and the science that is important to national defense. The benefit to the students, faculty, and to the universities is that, one, they get to find out what opportunities there are at ONR. The win for the Navy and the Marine Corps science and technology community is that we get to tap into some wonderful, brilliant minds who are doing great research that definitely can help the Navy and the Marine Corps. Recently, representatives from the HBCUMI program visited Southern University and A&M College and met with faculty and students interested in hearing about the program. Some of our speakers uh, were former students at HBCUs, so our students had a chance to see you know, what is at the end of the road and the things they have to, to do along the way to, to achieve those types of goals in their life. 
Julian Bolden, a computer scientist at the Naval Air Systems Command, provided encouragement to students considering the HBCUMI program. You have to step outside your comfort zone to go to the next level. This program is rewarding to me from day one. Uh, the moment when I see the interns walk through the door and I see their eyes are like gigantic and, and, and full of surprise and they're taking a step towards their future. And I am confident that if we continue to engage with the HBCU in my community of faculty, of students, of university officials, we will continue to be the premier organization that we've always been. For more information, visit www.onr.navy.mil slash HBCU or email us at donhbcumiprogram at navy.mil.